Good morning, you guys. Excuse my messy kitchen in the background. It's really still a disaster. We're still fixing things up around here. But I decided to make uh, waffles for breakfast because I have cans of canned yams for Thanksgiving. And today is going to be our Thanksgiving because Luis has to work tomorrow, which is actually Thanksgiving tomorrow. But I have today off. He has today off. So we're having our Thanksgiving today. We actually ordered food from No Butcher, which is like a vegan butcher shop and they're doing a special Thanksgiving dinner. So we ordered from them and we're gonna go pick that up today at three o'clock and we're gonna uh, chow down. I can't wait, I'm so excited. But since I had bought some canned yams to go with our Thanksgiving, I thought, hey, let me use those to make breakfast because um, I found a recipe for gluten-free waffles from Peanut Butter and Jelly Beans. Uh, I'll link it down below, it's an Instagram account. Um, she had a pumpkin cinnamon flavored waffle and I was like, hey, I have yams. That's pretty much practically the same thing. I bet you it'll taste just as good. And uh, yeah, Gary Ann enjoyed his very much. And the only problem is it takes a while to make each one. So everybody eats separately. So we don't all get to sit down and eat together, but that's okay. It's still a nice start to our, our Thanksgiving celebration today. So anyway, I'm making Millennium Falcon waffles. Luis is putting things together here. Hi, babe. Our side table there. I just put the TV and the entertainment center up. Got my curtains up. And my new carpet. We just still gotta find the feet for the couch. The couch is sitting on the floor. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You ready for breakfast? I am already. For our dinner too. Yeah, I'm ready for dinner too. <laughs> we gotta wait for that one though. My turn. Woo woo. Ooh, crunchy. Gosh, it's so hard to make vegan waffles that are crunchy. But I've, I've had a hard time finding recipes that make it crunchy, so I'm excited. And it's gluten free, which is freaking awesome because I need to start, you know, y'all know. I've been saying it forever. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's delicious. I'll definitely make these again. We got our Thanksgiving this year from No Butcher in Las Vegas. How is it? It's good. It's good? Do you like it, Daddy? Mm-hmm. Then we got muffins. Corn muffins from Little Batty Bakery. Batty? Yeah, Little Batty Bakery. They were selling outside of No Butcher and these little corn muffins are really tasty and they're heart-shaped. They're so cute. We also got some banana, what's it called? Bread pudding, Ooh, so good. bread pudding, which n none of us have ever had before. I don't think. Luis, have you ever had it? No. No. My kids and I haven't had it either, so this looks interesting. Ooh, so looks good. good. Now I'm about to dig into this. So unfortunately, dinner was kind of disappointing. We all gave it like a six out of ten. I gave it. I gave it an eight. You gave it an eight? But it was good. I w it wasn't good as yours. Well. <laughs> Okay, well, Logan's very generous. Uh, me and Luis and Gary and didn't like it that much, unfortunately. Um, 
The corn muffins were good, but that was not from No Butcher. That was from um, Little Batty Bakery. Little Batty Bakery. So, oh, she's so sweet. L Louis, she forgot to put a chocolate pie or something in the bag that Logan bought of goodies, and she's literally driving across town like 40 minutes to come bring it to us after she gets done with her orders that are coming for pickup for the day. She's gonna drive it all the way over here to our house to give it to us, so that was really freaking sweet of her, so. Uh, check out Little Batty Bakery on um, Facebook if you can find her. If not, she's um, someone who posts in the Las Vegas Vegans page group a lot, so I don't know. If you're if you're in Las Vegas, you can look, look for that bakery there, but anyway, that was really nice of her, so she'll be by later to do that, and um, I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. I've been like working on cleaning our blinds today, and my back is kind of killing me. Um, I tried to show like what it looks like because I cleaned half of one side of the blinds in our bedroom and one side is like literally like yellow and the side I cleaned is now white. I was trying to show the contrast but it was, there's so much like, the lighting was not working out so you can't see, you can't tell what it looks like. But yeah, our blinds in this house are really filthy and I'm going through and cleaning them, covered in food and dirt and lots of yellowness so taking me a long time to clean. Like there's a lot of nooks and crannies and things that need to be cleaned up in this house. Unfortunately, it's gonna take me a long time to do it. So we've just been working on that and trying to slowly unpack things and find our kitchen item. My kitchen's a freaking mess. I'm trying to unbox the kitchen and there's a bunch of boxes and things. You know how it is when you move in somewhere new. It takes a while to get organized and get everything situated. So that's what we're working on. Right now I'm gonna sit down for a little while and rest my back. Just like a typical cat, you buy her a bed. She sleeps on a jacket next to the cat bed. Why the jacket is on the floor is the question. Close. But you know, it is a kid's jacket, so that would explain it. 